Hello and welcome or welcome back to Actually Let's Talk About It with me, your host Lily, and today I will be reacting to Wanties episode 7 and episode 8. Y'all, it's about to be, it's about to be a little something here, okay? We just got out of the countryside episodes for 5 and 6 and now we're kind of getting into like an undisclosed location but it's going to be like more into the game style for AT. So we're going to see what they're going to get up to y'all. But them la episodes five or six were, they were so chill. And it was really cool to see them being like domestic and just doing regular things at the, on the countryside. I like that. They kind of like gave them a break, but it was still a shoot. But it was kind of a bit more brevity there in those two episodes. So now they back on the variety game show-ish. And I'm like ready to see that. So yeah, y'all, we're going to get straight into these episodes. But before we do, did y'all see Cake on? Okay, over the weekend, like my for you page on tiktok was up up and down it was either mingi or Ooyoung young or just ats as a group in total it was just everywhere but y'all i know y'all heard about the incident with that person that was claiming they was 18 -y, and they out here trying to do my bias dirty and i just had to address it like whenever you go to, to like an event like kcon or you go to a fan sign event and there's a specific member that chooses you even if it's not your bias because you know i get it it's still eight makes one team so you still need to be respectful of the person who calls on you and then to find out the people who are actually there on kcon as this is all unfolding between tiktok twitter and instagram because those are the only social media i'll be using um that this person literally had a minky sign holding up and when he picked her she had the audacity to ask about San and San is my other bias but if Mingy pick me my wish and my question would be for this man and this man alone that's like if Young did or any or Hong Jun or Songwa like if it's any member even if they're not your bias it's still eight makes one team it's still just common decency and just basic human kindness because if you pick somebody and then they had a and it, they were, you were supposed to answer a question or you they you were supposed to, they were supposed to you were supposed to do something for that person that you picked and they just talked to somebody else that's on the stage as well you wouldn't feel good so I don't know why this person thought they could do that but it was just really weird and I'm like I hope that Minky knows that he's loved and I hope that ATE is just very careful in you can have your favorites like your old bias and your bias or whatever you want to call it but it's still eight makes one team still be respectful of the person who called on you especially at events like that like there's just it's just uncalled for and i just had to say my thoughts on it because it was so ridiculous and i'm just like at any age there's no excuse because you were raised with respect so why aren't you giving it you know even if you're in the states because as a person that's considered you know like me i'm black we are taught from a very young age from our great grandparents to our grandparents and if you're fortunate enough your great great grandparents instilling you that common courtesy to anybody regardless of what they look like where they're from yada yada you know what i'm saying and for you to not do that as a per another person of color because we all know what she looked like now and i'm like what what's going on i'm like what's going on uh, but yeah i just had to address that but outside of that i'm happy that the guys have fun at KCON, I do hear they're in Mexico now for the rest of the other part of their tour. And I do hope that they have fun and that 18 e treats them with respect. So I'm just like, I heard this is not the first time that something like this has happened to the members of ATs, but it should definitely be the last. Be respectful. That's all. That's all. I'm like, that just, it made me feel some type of way because I'm just like, his face. Like, he's a very openly expressive person with his face and you could see the way that affected him. And I'm just like, do better i'm gonna do better because there would have been so many other actual fans of him that would have loved to have had the opportunity to, to get a wish from him and you ruined it and kind of wasted it and then even the other group members weren't exactly comfortable with the way she approached it and i'm just like y'all y'all it just it wasn't cute it was just very it left just like a very bad taste in your mouth and i'm just like it is what it is. People are going to be how they're going to be. But don't call yourself a teeny. Will you really only favor one person in the group? Like, that's just... <sighs> okay. And I've, like, seen experiences like this with other 
with another group that I stand, which is BTS, the way that they would treat certain members of the group over others, and they call themselves fans, and I'm just like, you know, I'm just like, let's not do that no more. Let's be respectful, let's be nice, and let's be kind. But now that we got that out the way, I do hope those who went to KCON did enjoy it. I did hear KCON had a controversy, but I've never really been to those kind of events and I don't really plan on going. So when I heard about what they did and how it was kind of leaning on the the, the racism spectrum um, with what they were trying to, to have the requirements for getting a job at KCON, I was like, mm hmm, I never felt led to go. So I'm like, I see why. I let the spirit lead me. My spirit saying, nah, I don't go. But you know, there is that so there is just like a couple of signs happening at kcon this year that just let me know i probably should avoid it going forward but for anybody who have fun and enjoyed it i'm happy for you y'all happy for you and be honest in them surveys if you have fun at certain parts and other thing experiences wasn't cool because i hear that they giving out surveys do be honest okay so they can be better but yeah y'all we're gonna get straight into this one tease reaction i just wanted to talk a little bit about cake one in la um you know and we just going to press forward when I thought that that should be addressed, okay? But yeah, so we're going to do the patron shout out and then we're going to get straight into the one tease episode. So the patron shout out for today does go out to Genoviva. And I want to thank you so much for your you being a patron on the Patreon, for your support there. And then I also want to give a shout out to all the amazing subscribers on YouTube because your support is so very much appreciated as well. And we are getting closer and closer to the goal for the channel for 500 subscribers. So yeah, y'all keep subscribing. If you're watching this video yet to subscribe, do not forget to do so. If you would like to support the channel. And without further ado, we are going to get straight into Wanti's episode seven and just see what it's going to give us here. Cause I'm excited just to see what the guy's gonna get up to here in this episode. Oh, and it's 39 minutes long. This is gonna be a wonderful ride. Okay. Friend. Oh, Aristotle quotes? I'll let us see that. Oh, it's a test of friendship? <laughs> it's the way that I notice how Jungle smiles when he's with Mingi. It's something about that, their dynamic that I just really love. It is so cute. Udo is so amazing. Look at them. Oh. Ooh. It's really made of gold? I want it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, they be giving good gifts. Okay. Oh, okay. What kind of dance are we going to get into here? Mm. I love this so much. So why, why he always looking like that? Oh! No song getting rejected like that. Dang. <laughs> Mickey. I love it. He sure did. Uh, not, saying, not saying being upset that he got it. 
Passover. Just a little bit. Sorry. I love the way that they tease each other. Oh, come on, Sangwa. Oh. <laughs> It's something about that move, I swear. I really love it. <laughs> oh. I love it. Give us method acting. Come on now. <laughs> I'm done. I love it. He's like an effortless, Jungle is like an effortless comedian. I feel like he would do so well like in a comedy TV show. I need him on TV again. Like in a show. Okay, the Travis Scott song. Why are they all looking there? I love it so much. <laughs> Mickey is so amazing. This dance. <laughs> Come on. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Come on, your song. What you gonna do for us? Was did he how it was giving Michael Jackson smooth criminal at the end? I love that. Okay, I swear, I'm just now noticing that AT's got some interesting shoes on, especially Yosan's shoes. He got the Stomper 3000 on. I love that for him. Oh. Wait, is it Psy? And Sugar Song? Oh, I love this song so much. It's all about it. Hey, okay. Come on now. Let's go. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. Come on now. <laughs> Is that baby you know? Oh my goodness. It's the way that KQ be knowing all they past stuff and always be referencing it. Oh my goodness, that is so adorable. 
찬스 신고식을 통해서 매력 어필이 된거 같나요? 네. 어, 네. 나이 친구 마음에 든다. 있어요 지금. 그런 친구 있습니다. 들어왔어요? 네. 너무 많아요. 많아요. 네. 아, 제 생각에는 이제 좀. 그 이제 각자 마음이 있을 테니까 네. 각자 아 잠깐만 그 벌써 사인을 주고 받으시는데 아나 지금 다 뿌리고 있어요 그럼 이제 투표 바로 가보겠습니다 2022년을 강탈 단 하나의 우정 여러분의 마음을 루팡에 갈 최고의 친구를 선택해 주세요 I'm asking 이거 신청을 하세요 아 누구 하지? 아. 먼저 출발, 출발. 안녕, 유노노. 아, 제가 제가 첫 번째예요. 종우가 너무 잘해가지고. He related. I would love him. 너무 저에게 매력 없게 너무 잘 됐는데, 저에게 이제 아까까지 어필하는 멤버가 또 있었어가지고 정말. 고민을 많이 했는데 그래도 어필 시간에 좀잘 어필했다라는 멤버를 좀 공정하게 뽑자라고 생각을 해서 저는 이 친구로 하겠습니다. Song Wa Hu Yu got to choose. Oh look, it's little figurines in the back. That's cute. Okay, and then even Songwa got his lemon pepper steppers on. They remind me of church shoes. I do not know why. <laughs> oh, okay. Song, who are you gonna choose? I already know it's not gonna be Uyung. Because he skipped over him. Stop. It's a mystery? Okay. Yo, son, what are you gonna choose? Hmm. I really like his style. Something about it. Oh, he already has one in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. So I'm pretty sure you know <laughs> and Hong Joon for, oh, for Jungle. That makes sense. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Mm. He has three now. Wow. Yes. I love this for him. Because Jungle deserves all the love. Wait, hold on, let me go back. These ca okay, I see y'all on the right hand side. He don't even know he's Mr. Popular right now. Oh, 
Oh, it is somebody too. You know, oh. Okay, so you know and John go voted for each other. That's so beautiful. I love it. Oh, you can't. Okay. He got three votes. Oh, he got a vote. Come on now, son. You know. Your son. Ooh. Jungle got three. Song got. That's okay, Song Wa. You would know you're loved anyway. Oh, this man. Oh, young. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he talking about you know? I'm done. I love it. <laughs> 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 Oh, to choose. Okay. Oh. 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 I love this. Dang, that's something else. A version of okay, because like I've seen, like we have these the same kind of games in the states, they're just different because we like to have like songs with them. Like Lemonade is the one that I can remember off the top of my head, my head that's like for the hand clapping game, 
and it's a lemonade and but you it, like the moves get harder you have to do more with your hands as the song continues and then you just start making it worse after a certain point if it keeps going and going and going so this is interesting i love how it's universal it's just sometimes there's words and sometimes there's not words i really love it <laughs> Four times. I love it. I love it. Mm. I love how popular Mengi is there. Mm. Oh, oh, I love that. Oh, oh, y'all may play it around. He don't play about John Gon. I love that. Oh, okay. They can get up to eight. I think they can. Oh wow, they're doing it effortlessly. Okay. Okay, they got to six though. That's good. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the girls get hurt. Look at them trying to distract them. I love how anything goes with ATs. They even try to get in the middle. I'm done with them. It's really like kids trying to disrupt the parents' concentration now. But they are not new to this, they're true to this. I know they got 10. Whoa! Hong Jun is so. Now they got. They done tired them out. Oh. They are just too amazing. I can't do it. Oh, they're just trying to distract them too. Oh, can they beat? Okay, no, they didn't beat it. Okay, but they got the second highest score. Oh. 
통하게 그 빠이트 넘치는 모습이 저도 반할 뻔했습니다. 좋은 친구라면 바로 나에게 관심이 많은 친구겠죠. 아 TMI 골든벨을 통해서 얼마나 나에 대해 잘 알고 있는지 확인하시면 안녕하세요. 네, 송민기의 송민기입니다. 예. Yeah! <웃음> 아, 그러니까 멤버들한테도 얘기했었고 항상 웃기면 오래 했다. 아, 아, 네, 알겠어요. 엄청나게 오래 했다. 네. 라고 얘기한 게임이 있는데 네. 나는 이걸 굉장히 이것 때문에 오래 했다. 그 캐릭터의 어? 이름을 적으시면 돼요. 네. 캐릭터의 이름이에요? 게임 이름이에요? 똑같아요. 어? 아, 어, 오케이. So the character is in name is in the game title. 아, okay. 알겠다. 너무 쉬운데? 저희가 오에 오에 스테레오도 했었죠. 디지몬입니다. 네, 디지몬. 어때? 민기야, 나 민기야, 좀 섹시했냐? 어, 이거 빼는 거 아닐까? 빼는 거 아닐까? 어째 탈락. 아구몬이야, 아구몬. 아구몬 땡. 아구몬 땡. 땡. 사실 모를 줄 알았거든요. 아, 이 정도 모르겠다 하고 된 건데 알아주셔가지고 난 좋았던 것 같아. 아. 저는 아또 조언은 또 내가 자신 있지 또 최근 일이고요. 아 그럼 같은 방 같은 방. 나 뭐했어 뭔지 알아. 나 뭔지 알겠다. 관심이 있어 알고. 네. 제가 최근에 네. 노래 불러. Wait, Hong Joon and Jungkook were roommates. That is interesting. 네. 근데 그 곡은 제 인생. The Captain and the Youngest. 이번에도 그 인생 나쓸게요. 했다고 해서 불렀습니다. 그 노래의 제목을 맞춰주시면. 가수 맞추면 안 돼. 이제 제목은 모르겠어. 가수 맞히는데 스펠링 안 틀리면 인정해드릴게요. 어? 한국어로서. <웃음> 오, e v e r y b o d y is confident with their answers. Bro, 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 It's not one of ours? Oh! Okay, I should have got that because even last episode, when they were in the countryside episode 5, he was talking about Brian McKnight. Okay. Oh, young. Oh. I love it. <laughs> Sir, who would know that? I'm pretty sure Sonic will get the right answer though. Sonic or Sonic, I'm guessing, will have the right answer for sure. Oh wow, okay. I knew Song would be one of them that got it correct though. <laughs> 들어온 시간과 가장 가까운 사람을 맞추면 아니 이거 어떻게 알아? 알지 않아? 알지 않아? 알지 않아? 알지 않아? 알지 않아? 알지 근데 우리 방에만 있어가지고 그래 날것 같아 어 되게 피곤했는데 나 오늘 생각보다 빨리 잘 끝내고 왔다 라고 생각을 했어 아 맞아 아, 아 이거 갔다 오면 돼요 이거는 제가 그럼 적어 놓을게요 혹시 모르니까 내가 1등이네요 야 너가 좋아 그래도 수, 숙소에 다 같이 사는데 이 정도는 그게 잘까요? 잠깐만요 I love it. Oh, 310. Oh! Okay. It's a very important part. Okay, sorry. Ah, 
Is there a soccer team called Tottenham? I don't know soccer like that. <laughs> I hope Uyung gets it right though. Somewhat with details. <laughs> Your thought is very unique for that answer. <laughs> now Saw thinking he's in seventh place in the looks department, but Uyang is he's above Uyang. I get these two, the way that they troll each other, this is hilarious. Okay, because they all know looks wise, everybody is giving ten out of ten would highly recommend. Okay? It's period. It's period. <laughs> I love that. Isn't that what best friends do? Ooh. That could be hard, because sometimes you don't even remember what you wore yesterday. Ooh. He out here trying to play. He's giving real hard questions, because I'm like, sometimes I don't even wore what, remember what I wore yesterday. No, I do. I'm lying. I remember that now. Oh, that was so I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not his muscles like that. That's fantastic. <laughs> Oh. I love it. Ooh, I love that. Hong Joon, I swear. <laughs> oh, what question is you not going to ask? <laughs> oh, it's, it's Celsius. Okay. I should have known it was going to be in Celsius and not Fahrenheit. It's 24 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I 
이제 마지막 투표만을 남겨 두고 있는데요. 투표만을 남겨 두고 있는데요. 네, 뭐가요? 아, 아니, 아니. I love this. We are just trying to appeal to Hong Jun. 어필 시간을 드리도록 하겠습니다. 한 명씩 어필하도록 할게요. 오늘 좀 좋았잖아요. 네? 오늘 좀 좋았잖아요. 아, 오늘 좀안 좋아요. 나는 가끔씩 그런 생각을 해. 내 인생에 좋은 일이 없다? 아, 진짜 당연한 일인 거야. You know he lied. Oh. He said I'm about to go down and divide it among the eight of us. It's gonna be Songwa or Mengi. Oh, okay. You know, you better choose Mengi this time. You know that's your best friend. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a long time. Especially in the entertainment industry, y'all. Even before it, I'm loving that. Songwa, who is this? Oh, Hong Jun. Ah, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> not a clue. Jungle. Oh, I want to see who he's gonna pick. Oh, Songwa got a flower. Oh, so cute. Son, who did you choose? Did you choose Uyang? Yep. Now, let's see who your son is going to choose. Aww. 
He chose Son. Okay. Mm. I love how his thinking is so simple. He's gonna pick you know. Yep. How do I know? These two are so loyal. I swear. <laughs> I love it. They both won it. That's so cute. I love this. They are so beautiful. <laughs> it's your son effortlessly holding someone like that. That's crazy. That is so beautiful. I'm excited for next episode, but y'all, this episode was so good. Like the friendship test, like you got to see how everybody is close to everybody, just in different ways. I'm really loving that. I'm really loving that. But we're gonna get straight into episode eight. I don't wanna talk too much because I feel like I can talk too much to end. But yeah, let's get into episode eight. I'm hoping it's 40 minutes long. Oh, 50. Either way, I'm gonna be happy about it. I forget if I'm Ian, <laughs> FJ, or Ian I gotta check it again. But it's definitely in the eyes. So I'll be in a black shirt crew. I'm shocked that Minky is considered an extrovert. That's interesting. I love it. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
I think I saw this when they had to do this on the show interview when Jesse was the host. Mm. Okay, Nagi. I love it. Oh, that looks good. They all photograph well, so that's expected. Oh, that's cute. Oh, okay. Oh, and he has to take the picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That was good. They really take good pictures of each other. That ain't a lie. picture okay that's all i was saying so three of them are gonna have to carry one of them i wonder if they're gonna carry the tallest person or the smallest person yep one of the tallest why are they acting like we get weighed a lot does this man weigh a lot i don't get tall Young is exhausted. Oh, okay. We might weigh a lot. For him. This is cute. They say he's light as a feather. I'm done. <laughs> oh, how the heck are they gonna do that? And take a picture of it. I need to see how this is gonna work. Cause I get crouching. Um. Oh, okay. They're just leaning. So you're using your core strength to keep each other up. But then how do you undo yourself? Okay. 
they did that. That would require some athleticism on their part. Oh. Do you have to like piggyback on one another? All they all have to do is together. Oh, that's gonna be cute. Look at them. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, that's cute. That probably looks really good. Yes, there they go. Look at them being photographers. Oh, this is funny. So it's gonna be seven of them, and then one of them has to be the bigger part. Okay, the foot. Okay, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh wow. Like, are they have to go one on top of the on top of the other, or is it gonna be different? Oh, okay. Also, oh, everybody's gonna have to lay down one on top of the other. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of weight. I think we even think of a better way, y'all. Oh, okay, so it's only three of them on... Okay, but that's still two people. The weight of two. Oh, that's complicated. Your son and Hongjun are all young. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that looks good. What is that? Hmm. I'm wondering where they find these pictures online. These are interesting. That's cute. They look good. Oh, yeah. I'm done with that one. I love it. He said the baby should be in the middle. And Jungle is really like, I'm not a baby. I'm done. I knew he would say that. And that's what babies say. Okay. He said, I don't know about it, your family, but you're the baby here. I love it. I love it. <laughs> they look adorable. <laughs> oh, I love it. I keep forgetting that Woo Young and Son have matching tattoos. Oh, wait. Like... 
So it was wrapping up season one, one, two, okay, that makes sense. Yep, they sure did. Yeah. Yeah. was getting it for the zombie episode. They really were something else. Oh, I love this. Dancing. Yes. Y'all, like, that... ACs know exactly what they're doing because that was a good first season for Wanties. Like, and then the fact that they heard that AT wanted more content that they're like kind of creating as well, just them coming together to make content, and then they gave us episodes seven and eight to wrap up season one. That is just mm, chef's kiss, chef's kiss, y'all. Okay, but that is my reaction to episodes. 7 and 8 of Wanties, y'all, and I will be back with episodes 9 and 10 really soon. But I really like the vibe of these episodes. Like, they were just really cool. It was just them goofing around and being friends and doing different, like, games with each other. And I did like the fact that they had the little cute key with the placard on it. It was 24 karat gold, and it said 8 mix 1 team. I thought that was such a genius present. Like, some of the variety shows don't be having good get like good presents for when you win. But this one did and I really love that for ATs and I like the family portraits and then you got to get more into their personalities based off of their um their personality tests. I really like that okay and I gotta check mine because I remember I think I was an I but I might have been an E. I gotta check it again y'all just so I can see I'll put it in the description box if you're watching it on YouTube or in the description box if you're watching it on Patreon once I look back at it, because I did screenshot it. 
but I do not remember where I put it on my phone. So I'm gonna find it. But yeah, like I like that and how they work so well together, even though they're all different personality types. It's like literally four extroverts and four introverts, and they all have different variations within those personality types. And I'm just like, yeah, okay. So that it just proves that if you want to be friends with people that might not necessarily always be the same or always have the same personality type as you, you really can if you work for it, okay? Okay, we put teamwork first. It really does make your dreams work. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, y'all, I really enjoyed these episodes and I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction to them. And again, I will be back soon with episodes nine and 10 for Juan Tees. But until then, y'all, I will see y'all in the next episode. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube and you are a subscriber on the channel, I want to thank you once more time for being a subscriber on the channel and your support does mean the world to me. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you have yet to subscribe to the channel, do not forget to do so. And also, if you're watching this on Patreon, you are a patron on the Patreon. Thank you so much for your support one more time. And it means the world to me and it is so very much appreciated. And again, y'all, until next time, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.